In Matthew 16, 18, it says, Jesus says, Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not overcome you. People in church today say, see, you have to fellowship at an organized church. If you don't, then hell, Satan will overcome you if you don't come to our church or some other good church, then hell will overcome you because Jesus told Peter that we are the church and we are the ones who hell cannot overcome us. It is true. Jesus' words are true. His called out ones, the ones living by the power of the Holy Spirit, are called out for His purpose. And the message He gives them, and they preach, that message will go out whether you want it to or not. It will go out whether you like it or not. That message will go out. It will convict the hearts of the men and women. The Holy Spirit is the one who searches the hearts and the minds. He is the eyes that goes to and fro throughout this earth. He searches the hearts and minds of the men and women. And He knows the intentions of the heart. The Holy Spirit cannot be stopped. The living God is not stopped. And the power of Satan and hell will not overcome the true called out church. Those who are living in the power of the Holy Spirit. But the false antichrist church, the harlot, those who are in organized churches, who put their trust in men and money, those churches will be overcome by the gate of hell. All it takes for them to be overcome by the gates of hell is for the money to dry up. As soon as the money dries up, no more church. The church is overcome. As soon as there's a moral failure, as soon as the pastor falls, as soon as he dies, the church fails because the people put their trust in men and women and they put their trust in money, but they didn't put their trust in the true living God. Are you part of the true church? Are you part of the called out ones? Are you part of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit? If you are, you are have the power of the Holy Spirit in you, and the message you share cannot be stopped. People may hate the message you share, and they will. Jesus tells us that the world will hate us because it first hated Him. But the message cannot be stopped, not by the powers of hell, not by the powers of man. May the grace of Jesus be with you.